I don't know about you guys, but I always see YouTube titles saying that people did 100 of this or asked 100 people that, and I always think to myself, why don't I try something like that? But I didn't want to go the easy route of just throwing some half-assed video together just to do it. So instead, I brainstormed and I realized what better video to do than this one right here. Trade-ups are my bread and butter, and I love testing just how profitable these things can be. So today, I'm going to do 100 total $1 trade-ups to see exactly how much money I can make. Let's get into it. Okay, first and foremost, it took me a very long time to gather all of the inputs for this video. If you're hoping to try something like this out for yourself, do not expect to be able to easily find all of these. That being said, I've prepared 10 different trade-up contracts in which I have 10 total trade-ups per, totaling 1,000 inputs and 100 completed trade-ups. I'm going to show you these bad boys one by one, and at the end, I'm going to break down the exact numbers to figure out just how much money I made. Drop a comment with your predictions down below. How much money do you think we we can make today. Let's get the ball rolling. People are always asking me what the best marketplace is to buy and sell their skins on. Look no further because the answer is today's sponsor, GamerPay. GamerPay is the best peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website out there and to prove it to you, they're even offering you a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro transaction. One cool feature they have is on top of showing the GamerPay listing price, they also display the cheapest buff listing price for the item you're looking at so you can see how much of a discount you're actually getting. They also have a 0% buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee. So if you're looking for better prices than buff and 5 euros for free, sign up with my link in the description today. The first trade-up consists of 5 minimal wear milspec skins from the Dreams and Nightmares case and 5 minimal wear milspec skins from the Revolution case below a 0 .0933 average float. Make sure to get the Dreams and Nightmares skins for 9 cents or less and the Revolution skins for 10 cents or less. This trade-up costs 95 cents total and has a 105.26% profitability after steam fees with a 70% chance to profit each time. 7 of the 10 outcomes are profitable with the factory new Glock 18 Umbral Rabbit easily being the best at 63 cents of profit. All right, boys, this is the very first trade up of the video. We have a absolute shit ton of these to do today, so there's no way I can react to all of them or this video would literally be hours long. So we're probably not gonna react fully to all of them, but I will react to the best ones. Let's start it off with this one though. What's it gonna be to begin the video? Show us the Umbral Rabbit right off the bat. Three, two, one, boom. Uh, it's all right. I think it's still pretty good, like 36 cents, but not the best outcome. That's still good though. Second best option on the first click. We're not upset with that. Let's keep the ball rolling. Another one, we'll take it. That is the worst outcome. We do not like to see those, but maybe we'll come back right here with an Umbral Rabbit. Let's see it. Not quite. Oh, we've seen three of those and those are not good, bro. They usually are when you're doing trade-ups like this, but for this specific one with the 50-50 split with revolutions, that is a bad outcome. Last trade-up, please let us see the Umbral Rabbit. We haven't seen one yet. Three, two, one, boom. All right, it's okay. We saw three of these and these are the second best option. We're not gonna complain. Decent start. I think we're down money right now, but it's okay because we have 90 more trade-ups to go. The second trade-up consists of 10 field-tested mil-spec skins from the breakout case below a 0.175 average float. Make sure to get each input for 10 cents or less. This trade-up costs $1 total and has a 105% profitability after steam fees with a 50% chance to profit each time. Of the four outcomes, two are profitable with the best being the Nova Koi at 39 cents of profit. All right, first trade up of the second contract. What's it going to be? 50 50 chance. Show us the Koi or the Supernova. Three, two, one, boom. L outcome. Dude, this is atrocious luck. Back to back worst outcomes. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. There we go, finally something good. That's a hit right there, 39 cents in the profit. Well, we're not quite in the profit, but that right there is 39 cents of profit. Come on, boys. Hopefully the luck will turn on our side. This has not been great thus far, but I believe. Three, two, one, boom. Dude, stop it. Okay, another koi, we'll take it. Let's go back to back coys. Finally, some good luck. Second to last breakout trade up. Please show us another koi. Three back to back coys would be insane. In three, two, one, boom. 
Ooh, it's okay though. It's still a supernova. That's profit. We will take it. Final trade up for the second contract. Show us profit to end it off. Three, two, one, boom. Fitting, man. Not the best luck with these at all, but it's okay. We move on. The third trade up consists of 10 minimal wear mil spec skins from the clutch case below a 0 0.0875 average float. Make sure to get each input for 10 cents or less. This trade up costs $1 total and has a 108% profitability after steam fees with an 80% chance to profit each time. Four of the five outcomes are profitable with the factory new Glock Moonrise easily being the best at 44 cents of profit. All right, I can't lie boys, we've had some pretty bad luck thus far, but hopefully that changes, man. We have made it through adversity before. Come on, show us something good. Three, two, one, moon rats. Second to worst outcome. It's okay though, it's still profit. This is an 80% chance to profit trade up. So a lot of these will be good. Let's see how much of that money that we've lost so far we can make back. Boom, best outcome. Let's go and such a good looking skin at that. Woo. Back to back worst outcomes. Like, come on, chill out, Gaben. Let's go, another Moonrise, baby. We will take it. Second to last, give me back-to-back -back Moonrises. Boom. Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. Okay, I'm tripping. I just realized I got a Moonrise, then a Lionfish, then another Moonrise. It wasn't actually back-to-back. -back. My fault, but it's gonna be back-to-back -back right here. Three, two, one, boom. It's okay, second best outcome. Wasn't a Moonrise, but we'll take that profit any day. This third contract certainly went a lot better than the first two, but that's to be expected because it's an 80% chance to profit. Let's see how the rest of this video goes. All right, boys, this week I'm giving away a field-tested M4A4 Dragon King. To enter, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any comment. Also, just make sure to have your Steam trade link in your YouTube bio so I can send you the skin when you win. Now, let's see how much money we can make. The fourth trade-up consists of 10 field-tested mil-spec skins from the kilowatt case below 0.223 average float. Make sure to get each input for 11 cents or less. This trade-up costs $1.10 total and has a 103.64% profitability after Steam fees with a 40% chance to profit each time. The two profitable skins are the minimal wear Glock 18 Block 18 and sawed off analog input. Not the best luck thus far, but we have some sticker luck to start us out on the fourth contract. What's it gonna be? Show us a Block 18. Three, two, one, boom. Let's go. Best outcome. Great way to start this contract. Let's see if this luck continues. Let's go. Back to back profits. Another block 18. Let's go. Another one. Second to last trade up. Show us the Glock. Not quite. Final one. Give us some profit. Into one. Boom. Let's go. All right. 32 cents right there. We'll take it. The luck for those was a lot better than the previous, and I'm honestly surprised we didn't even see every outcome. We had a 20% chance. We never saw the Edgelord, which is kind of cool because that is the worst outcome, but we are slowly making our money back. The fifth trade up consists of 10 stat track field tested mil spec skins from the Dreams and Nightmares case below a 0.1973 average float. Make sure to get each input for 11 cents or less. This trade up costs $1.10 total and has a 137.27% profitability after steam fees with a 60% chance to profit each time. Three of the outcomes are profitable, but the M4A1S and USPS are easily the best, each at around $1.50 of profit. All right, boys, fifth contract of the video. The luck has started to come our way. Now we got some stat tracks and I think we're in for some profit. Show us the M4A1S right here. Three, two, one, boom. Let's go. We hit it immediately. That is a great sign. Let's continue. Another one, back to back A1Ss. And then the USPS. Another one? Yo, that's crazy. Insane luck so far. We're four for four on the above $1 profitable outcomes, but now I probably jinxed it. Let's see. Boom. Oh my, how? Wow, that's insane. We only have a 40% chance to get the A1S or the USPS, and we've hit five in a row. Three A1Ss and two USPSs, which is absolutely bonkers, but we still got five to go. 
Okay, that makes sense. We finally got the worst outcome. And then the zombie offensive. Let's go, another USPS. Another one, that's insane. All right, boys, 50th trade up of the video. This officially marks the halfway point. What's it gonna be? It would be absolutely fitting to see another M4A1S because this has been crazy luck thus far. Let's see it. Three, two, one, boom. Okay, that's still fine. That's insane. I think we hit six or seven of the A1Ss and USPSs on this trade up, which is crazy. If I'm not mistaken, this is the most profitable trade up of the video. So it, it does kind of make sense that we're making a lot of money on this one. But yeah, the tides are definitely turning. We're starting to see some green. The sixth trade-up consists of 10 minimal wear mil spec skins from the Revolution case below a 0 0.0875 average float. Make sure to get each input for 11 cents or less. This trade-up costs $1.10 total and has a 128.18% profitability after steam fees with a 60% chance to profit each time. The factory new M4A1S m 4 Asaurus is easily the best at just under $1.50 of profit. All right, boys, sixth contract of the video. I've been thinking about it though, since I'm kind of in the dark about how much money we're up or down until the very end when I do the calculations, I'm probably not going to leave a profit counter on screen for you guys throughout the video. So you have to suffer through it with me without knowing until the very end. And then when I know how much we made, you'll also get to find out. So I don't know if that's a good choice or not, but that's what's happening. If I had to guess though, I would say we're probably up a little bit right now just because of that last contract. The luck was insane. But prior to that, we were down quite a bit, I think, because we had some atrocious luck on those first few. But as I just said a minute ago, I think the tides are turning. This revolution trade up is great. Show us the m 4 Asaurus. Three, two, one, boom. That's still profit. We will take it. worst outcome back-to-back -back banana cannons are you kidding me first umbral rabbit of the video we'll take it how many sakakus are we gonna see 60th trade up and final trade up of this contract show us the m4 asaurus i don't know if we've even seen one yet three two one m4 nice dude banana cannon the seventh trade-up consists of four minimal wear mil spec skins from the fracture case and six field tested mil spec skins from the revolver case below a 0.15 average float the easiest way to do this is by keeping the fracture skins below a 0.09 float and the revolver skins below a 0.19 float make sure to get the fracture skins for nine cents or less and the revolver skins for 14 cents or less this trade-up costs one dollar and 20 cents total and has a 118.33 percent profitability after steam fees with a 53.57 percent chance to profit each time five Five of the 11 outcomes are profitable with the minimal wear Negev power loader easily being the best at over $2 of profit. On track number seven, all we want to see are revolver outcomes. The rest are bad. Please no fracture. Show us the Negev. Three, two, one, boom. Not great, but not the worst. Four cents of profit, not too bad. Let's go. That's the second best outcome. Pretty cool tech nine as well. Not the worst, only a seven cent loss. The worst outcome. Why does it look so big as well? It's very interesting. Another one, seven cent loss. That's not too bad, 27 cents in the green. No, dude, two of the worst outcomes. Very unfortunate. Another one, 27 cents, bang. Let's go, we'll take that. Final trade up, show us the Negev. Three, two, one, boom. Dang, we've seen three of these. Not gonna complain. I think we might have came out on top there, to be honest, because we hit two Tech Nine Avalanches and two Five Seven Retributions. But, uh, dude, this is so hard to keep track of in my head. I think, if I had to guess, I would think we're a bit in the green right now, 
but it's not by much and it's definitely not worth the time it would have taken to get 70 trade ups worth of inputs. But let's finish it out. The eighth trade up consists of 10 Stat Track field tested mail spec scans from the recoil case below a 0.214 average float. Make sure to get each input for 14 cents or less. This trade up costs $1.40 total and has a 112.14% profitability after seam fees, with a 60% chance to profit each time. Three of the five outcomes are profitable, with the Stat Track Minimal Wear SG Dragon Tech easily being the best at 83 cents of profit. Eighth contract of the video, and I don't know why, but I think this will be another good one. Started off great. Great. Stat track minimal wear, SG Dragon Tech. Three, two, one, boom. Let's go. I don't know why, but I could feel it. I knew we were hitting that. And I think this luck is going to continue through this trade up. I don't know why. I'm just feeling the vibes right now. And right after I say that, we hit the worst outcome. Another Dragon Tech, though. Come on. Another one back to back. That's three out of four Dragon Techs right now. Still profit. Back-to-back -back vent rushes. We'll take it, dude. Still profit, baby. Come on. We've only seen one bad outcome thus far. All right. I probably just jinxed it, but it's fine. Let's go. Second to last one. Show us profit. Baby, come on. We're eight for nine on profit outcomes in this trade-up right now. Make us be nine for 10. Only one we haven't seen so far are the dualies though, and that's a loss outcome. So if we see that, I'm gonna be a little sad, but ended it off with a dragon tech. Three, two, one, boom. Oh no. Worst outcome, I think. No, actually, I think the dualies are the worst outcome, but that's okay. We went eight for 10 on profit outcomes with that one. I knew we were gonna get lucky. I just felt it, bro. Two more contracts to go. Stick with me, boys. Let's see how much I make in the end. The ninth trade-up consists of four factory new mil spec skins from the recoil case and six minimal wear mil spec skins from the Prisma 2 case below 0.07 average float. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the recoil skins below 0.04 float and the Prisma 2 skins below 0.09 float. Make sure to get the recoil skins for 24 cents or less and the Prisma 2 skins for 12 cents or less. This trade-up costs a dollar and 68 cents total and has a 106.55% profitability after steam fees with a 52% chance to profit each time. Five of the 10 outcomes are profitable with the factory new SSG Fever Dream easily being the best at 67 cents of profit. All right, boys, we're entering the ninth contract. What's it gonna be? Show us the Fever Dream. Come on, boom. I don't think that's profit, bro. L, 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 spam L's in the chat, L, 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 L. And another loss. No, dude. Final trade up for the ninth contract. The 90th trade for the video. This has been a long one so far, but we've got this, bro. Show me the SG, please, for once. Now, let's go. We hit it on the last one. That's good. That's very good. I think that recoups a lot of our losses on this one. I wonder what those numbers are looking like. We'll have to see very soon. The 10th trade up consists of five minimal wear mil spec skins from the breakout case and five field tested mil spec skins from the shadow case below a 0.15 average float. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the breakout skins below a 0.095 float and the shadow skins below a 0.205 float. Make sure to get the breakout skins for 16 cents or less and the shadow skins for 21 cents or less. This trade up costs $1.85 total and has a 104.86% profitability after steam fees with a 50% chance to profit each time. All four of the shadow outcomes are profitable with the minimal wear Galil Stone Cold easily being the best at $1.40 of profit. Boys, somehow we made it. The 10th contract of the video, we have 10 left to go. This has been a long, grueling one, but I think we're up. We'll have to see. Let's grind these out. Show us shadow case outputs, please. Three, two, one, boom. Not great. Show me that Galil. Three, two, one, boom. Hey, that's still profit. Second best outcome. We'll take it. All right, boys, some sticker luck in here. This looks sick, actually, and the sticker's dope. Also, this is a very underrated and underused MAC-10 skin. Kind of sick, but right, let's get back to the trade-ups. Stone Cold in three, two, one, boom. Okay, no. No. 
Finally, best outcome, $1.40 right there. Let's go. Let's see some more shadow outcomes to end this video off. Please, back to back Galils. Dude, we've seen three of these. Leave me alone. I wanted you on an earlier trade up, not this one. A little bit more sticker luck right here. Don't know why I'm using the country accent. I thought that said THC for a second. I don't know where my head's at. I'm at like trade up number 94 or something crazy. Probably a little, little bit more than that, 96. I'm losing my mind, all right? Leave me alone. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, let's go. Another Galil Stone Cold. Dollar and 40 cents right there. We will take that. Second to last trade up of the video. I don't know what accent this is now. I'm just messing around. Show us the shadow case. Matter of fact, let me see that M249 Nebula Crusader, one of my favorite skins in the whole game in three, two, one, boom. Oh my gosh, we actually hit it. Let's go. 12.5% chance of hitting that. We'll take it and it's profit. This thing is so nice, dude. I wish they made this on like an M4A1S or something. It's so beautiful. Boys and gals, I don't know how we did it but we made it trade up number 100 i think we're in the green but i don't know by how much but what i can already tell you is that this was not worth the time it would take you to get all of these inputs i already know that the profit's not going to be that insane if we're even in the green i think we are but we'll see show us something good on the last one though please three two one another nebula crusader that's like the second to worst outcome. But you know what? It's okay. I'm just happy this is over. That took so long. Doing 100 trade-ups takes way longer than you might think. Way, way, way longer. And not to mention the amount of time it took me to get all of the inputs. A thousand inputs? This is not feasible. But let me do the math and see how much money we made. All right, boys. As you can see, these are the 100 skins we came out with. I just did a bunch of math and here's what I found. The total cost for these 100 trade-ups ended up being $123.80. Surprisingly, we only lost money on three of the trade-ups, number one, two, and six. Trade-up number five was easily our biggest money maker, which was to be expected because it had the highest profitability out of the 10. The average total expected ROI of the 10 trade-ups was 112.92%, but after all was said and done, we actually ended with a total ROI of 115.7%, meaning we made $19.44 total. Obviously, $19.44 for 100 trade-ups is absolutely not worth the time and effort it took to do this. Like I said, I knew this wouldn't be smart from the beginning, but I just wanted to test it out to satisfy my curiosity. But that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, drop a like, and also, if you want to join our Discord server where we do weekly giveaways separate from the video ones, check that out with the link in the description. I'll catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75 percent of you aren't subscribed yet so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below